After a rough journey on Lake Erie, Brock arrives in Amherstburg on August 14th and promptly arranges for a meeting with Tecumseh and other native chiefs. The tribal leaders were very suspicious of British intentions. Nonetheless, when Tecumseh and Brock met at Amherstburg, they did forge an alliance. That alliance was predicated by the promise on the part of Brock that he would recover the lands that the natives south of Lake Erie had lost to the Americans. In return, Tecumseh committed the manpower of his native confederacy to fight on the western frontier. Unaware of Brock's arrival, Hull sends MacArthur, Cass, and 350 of his best men to try once again to rendezvous with a supply train coming from Ohio. On August 15th, Brock sends an ultimatum to Hull, requesting that Hull surrender or else he will be unable to control his native forces. After delaying his response for five hours, Hull answers in the negative. Hull had a real terror for Indians, which means that he is about the worst commander you could put in a frontier situation. Brock was very shrewd about parading his Indian warriors in a very conspicuous location, and this played upon Hull's nerves. That night, the native allies of the British prepare for battle. A local merchant, Thomas Verscher, describes the scene. It was as if standing at the entrance to hell, with the gates thrown open to let the damned out for an hour's recreation on Earth. Brock then begins the bombardment of Detroit. On August 16th, Lydia Bacon, wife of an American quartermaster, witnesses the bombardment from inside Fort Detroit. As soon as Aurora's beautiful rays adorned the east, the enemy's shot began to enter the fort. And as some ladies were making cylinders and scraping lint for bandages, a 24-pound shot entered the next door to the one they were in. What a scene was here presented. Such lamentation and weeping I never heard before. And I sincerely hope I never shall again. Sir, sir! Sir, we must return fire. The Indians are advancing. We Hull's lips are quivering. I do not think it was over 20 minutes after the round hit the officer's miss when he hoisted the white flag for a parley with General Brock. 